Hi guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about Ratched. As I told you in my last pilot review, I'm here with a brand new one. A lot of stuff has been coming out and there were a few shows that uh, came out this week, so I chose the third day, which I leave up here, my pilot review, and I also chose Ratched. Um, again, this is a pilot review, so I only watched the first episode. For the third day, there was only one episode available, so yeah, but as usual for Netflix shows, the all the episodes come out at the same time, but for the sake of this video, I only watched the first episode, so I'm not biased by all the next episodes and how the story develops and all that stuff. So yeah, this is a pilot review, I only watched the first episode, and these are my assumptions for what the rest of the series will be like. I'm, I don't know, but this is the impressions that I got from the first episode, so... Without further ado, let's talk about Ratched. If you don't know what the show is about, um, I don't know if I can really tell you much, but this is based on the character from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I have to tell you that I'm not familiar with uh, that story, neither the book nor the movie. So I'm going into the show like without knowing basically anything about it. Um, the only things that I knew were that this is a kind of horror show. It's a Ryan Murphy show and it has Sarah Paulson. So those three things were enough to sell me on the show. But yeah, so this is based on the character Mildred Ratched, the nurse Ratched, from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and the show is basically her early days before she became a serial killer, like this is how she went from a simple nurse to a serial killer. As I said, this show stars not only Sarah Paulson, but also Finn Wittrock, Charlie Carver, John John Briones and Judy Davis. Um, I know Sarah Paulson, Finn Wittrock and Charlie Carver. I'm not really familiar with Charlie. I know he was on Teen Wolf, I think, um, but I didn't watch the show. But of course, we all know Sarah Paulson and Finn Wittrock. They are like Brian Murphy's favies. They are in most of his shows and yeah. They are in this one as well. And as I said, this is a Netflix original. So yeah. post that, let's get into my thoughts. Right away, you know, this is a Ryan Murphy show. So it has that Ryan Murphy feel. It's really theatrical and I kind of compare it to Hollywood. I also did a pilot review of Hollywood, so I also link it up here. And this show has basically the same vibes, like it has the same type of sets, the same type of costumes, the same kind of score, like everything is really over the top, bright colors and like a big cookie. Um, and that is completely normal for Ryan Murphy shows, to be honest. The only one that doesn't really follow this pattern is 911. All of his other shows tend to be these type of shows, such as Hollywood. I haven't seen it, but I saw the trailer of The Politician. It also looks like really theatrical. Uh, some seasons of American Horror Story are a bit like theatrical as well. Uh, the season that I watched of American Crime Story is also this type of thing. So yeah, Ryan Murphy shows tend to be like a bit over the top, uh, but I guess that's why people like his shows. In terms of story, I really liked it in the beginning, 
but then it starts losing momentum like the last 20 minutes I felt like I was a bit bored I wanted the story to go on so I don't know how the whole thing is going to develop in the next episodes uh, but the story is interesting so I am curious to know where it goes it also doesn't hold back when it comes to violence and gore uh, there's some like pretty intense moments right in the beginning of the episode so I was happy about that and yeah although I wasn't a bit sure in the end I think I'll give it a chance and I usually watch three episodes before I know if I'm going to give up on a show or not I don't really like to give up on a show but it happens. So those are my basic thoughts on the episode, so let's get into my conclusions. So did I like the episode? I can say that I did. Like I was a bit bored in the end, but I was still interested in the story and I want to know where this goes. So yeah, I'll give it a chance and I, I think I can say I liked it. But do I recommend it? I don't think I do. I don't think I recommend it. Just because it is a bit too similar to other of his shows. Like, if Ryan Murphy and this style is really your thing, like, I totally recommend. But for me, it's starting to be a bit repetitive. Like, every single show of his looks the same, has the same feel, has the same actors which I don't really mind because I like those actors but everything looks like a copy of each show so yeah, I don't know if I would recommend if you're tired of the same thing like it's not really a completely different show so if you want to see something different I don't think this is a show for you but if you like Sarah Paulson, Ryan Murphy shows, if you like that over-the-top theatrical feel, yeah, go for it. But I I feel like if I don't like the show in the next two episodes, I think I'm going to stop. So, yeah, guys, these are my thoughts on the first episode of Ratchet. Let me know in the comments if you've seen the show, what you thought of it, in each episode are you. Uh, I know some people have already seen everything, so if you are one of those people, tell me in the comments, uh, without spoilers, please, how the series goes, and if it's worth it to stick around, and yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in my next video.